today. Welcome to that second video. This one is all about the push-up, the dreaded push-up. Well, we all probably need to get better at it, so I have some exercises for you that are gonna help you do that. We have a T push-up, we have an inchworm push-up, and we have something working specifically on your triceps as a body-weighted exercise, which is just something that I love because I feel like triceps are hard to work with just body weight. And then finally, we have a bear push-up, which actually looks a whole lot harder than it really is. Uh, and it gives you a little bit more core activity and just some movement as you do a push-up. So I'm gonna explain to you what we're doing. I'm gonna walk you through exactly what you need to be doing as you do these push-ups. And then we're gonna get started with our workout. So let's go. Okay, so I want to show you some general modifications for a push-up that you can apply to any of these push-up activities that we do today. So first is the knee modification. You still wanna keep those elbows in and that core engaged, so no saggy middles. The next modification I'm gonna show you is that you can move your feet a little wider. So the farther apart you move your feet, the more you're spreading out your weight. So if the knee is too easy, but the feet together is too hard, move your feet a little bit wider apart and it's going to be slightly easier for you to do. All right, so the T push-up, we're gonna show you that knee modification in a T push-up. So what we wanna make sure that we're doing is that we're keeping our core tight still, keeping those elbows in and keeping that back and that tush down. At some point, I lift my high knee up a little bit too high. So in that rotation, you're gonna to wanna to keep yourself strong and in a straight plane as you rotate right and left and keep that back in nice alignment with that high knee. Okay, so this bear push-up is not as hard as it looks, but you're gonna wanna keep this core tight here too. You can drop your knees when you come forward. Now you are in a wider stance to start this actual activity. As you'll see, my feet are about hip distance apart, but if that is too difficult, go ahead and drop down to your knees, making sure that your back is staying nice and straight through the entire movement and your core keeps engaged. Okay. Those arms are going to be burning, but let's get to work.
Well, you guys made it through push-ups. I hope those arms are feeling great. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so that I can encourage you as soon as possible. Have an incredible day.